Yo, it's your boy Jacob. Today, we've got to have a very unfortunate discussion about the Burberry and Minecraft collaboration. So right off the bat, when you get to the Burberry x Minecraft collab site, there's a little about me paragraph. Hopefully you read that while I was talking. Now they say that they're inspired by nature and their love for the game, but I don't get that vibe considering everything is basically black and white or gray. The only colorful thing is this tan Waterloo, the tan scarf that was worn in Minecraft Live, which you can see here, and that's not even available, or this landscape scarf, which is my favorite item after this gray hoodie due to the gray hoodie's back print. Other than that, you'll note everything is around the four to $3,000 range I assume they think that this will uh, strike a good chord with the audience of people who can afford to go to Minecon every year. Other than that, maybe it was just a way for some higher ups at Burberry or Minecraft to have some designer merch with their favorite brand on it. Because I don't know how their marketing teams could think this is a good idea considering that this game's main audience and market is people who can afford a $30 game and children. You know, it's a great game for everyone, obviously, but I don't imagine many kids being able to ask their parents for $500 for just a hat. But the other elephant in the room, as a designer myself, is that this looks like they put in the bare minimum amount of effort. You know, they didn't give us any like cool new patterns that I think would have been more than easy to make with the literal assets that are the entire game of Minecraft. So that's just my two cents. For a game that's had a fan base that's basically a decade old now, you'd think that both Burberry and Minecraft would want to give back to all of us as loyal fans. Guess not, but if you have a different opinion, tell me about it below. Peace.